so um, I jacked up the car with the 5,000 pound lift capacity jack, as it says on here, which it didn't say in the box. And I placed the four ton jack underneath. Now all I gotta do is run inside, get my uh, breaker bar and my, um, my ratchet screws. And you can actually hear it leaking. It's from right there. So I'm just gonna get my screwdriver and pry that out. All right, so I made a pretty big mistake. I jacked the car without breaking the lug nuts on the wheel. So you'll notice that a lot of mechanic shops, they over tighten the bolts with an air gun. And so they're very tight on there. And if you try to unscrew it while the tire's in the air, it would just spin. So now I have the car back on the ground. I'm gonna stick my breaker bar in there and break these nuts loose. When I'm working on cars, I recommend you purchase a pair of steel toe boots. I got these at a local hardware store. They're a Milwaukee brand. I only wear Milwaukee. And just break that last one loose. Get everything in place again. Just drag this puppy right back up. All right, so. Being an electric car, there's some pretty bad acids in that uh, battery, so Tesla has a mounting spot. They recommend you mount, well they don't recommend, they demand you only mount on the frame rails, which are right here. These steel parts right here. So you place the jack right there, and now we're going to lower the car. Perfect. And you just want to jack it up so that the jack is just touching the car as an extra means of safety. And now, let's unscrew these lugs. Probably take them off in my hand. Just Take this wheel off and fix it. Whoa. It's not so heavy. There she is. Take a freaking picture. Hey, um, so I'm working on the Tesla. I got the wheel off. It's up in the air. You see the calipers under there. I may change this at some point. Maybe not. And here is the wheel. And I'm just gonna fix this screw that's stuck okay. in there. Oh, yeah, this thing's not so tight. Be careful. Watch your face. Use a plier. What I'm doing right now is preparing my patch kit. I got these patches I bought at the AutoZone. They're like stuck to the packaging. Alright. It's coming out nice valuable. I just want to flatten that out. How am I going to get this in? Alright, so I got the plug inserted into this. It was a little bit tricky, but it's in. Now, I have my reamer and my rubber cement. So let's go ahead and uh, dismantle this bitch. So what you need to do is just poke this seal off. Good. Alright. So I'm just going to have that ready. Do you want me to get you uh, gloves? No, it's too late. Right. I guess we'll have an ER visit afterwards to get the glue off your fingers. <laughs> it's actually not that sticky. Right. So I'm gonna fry this out. Is that going to like poke my eye out? Come out like a bullet? <laughs> I, I usually wear safety equipment, but uh, this was on an off-duty call so I didn't have this stuff with me.
Get the reamer in there. <laughs> Get that T-bone handle. And I got my rubber cement. Gotta apply that in there. Work that in. Just work it. And uh, get me the rubber. Get me the other thing. All right. Now we want to prepare this. So we're gonna coat this in rubber cement. And uh, poke that right in, and it plugs it. And uh, see if I can get this. Just work that in, good and tight, and then it's out. And she's sealed. So now we're gonna wait a few minutes for that stuff to set in, and then we're gonna cut it. Show the offending. Oh, where did the nail go? Right there, right there behind you. This is the nail. Did it almost hit me in the head? Yeah, oh my god. How'd they get into a car? Wait, put it in my hand. Now it's plugged. She's all good. So, so I got my paper towels. I'm just cleaning up the excess rubber cement that went on there. No bubble spray? I don't have any soapy water. That's all nice and tight. Now I got my scissors. These are really nice. I'm just gonna cut the excess right off. Then I'm gonna shave it down. You know what? Leave it, leave yeah, it. Yeah, that's fine. Just gonna get a little bit more. Perfect. All right. So now it's time to remount the tire. What about that? And I got the lugs. Just pull this off. All set up. You know, put that on the hundred. All right. All right. So now that that's set up, got my lugs over there and my tire over here. And mount the tire. You want to line up this like that so you know exactly where it goes. So, I got my tire on, I'm holding it on with this one lug nut, and I'm just going to give it a kick to make sure it's in there all the way. Now we can begin tightening our lug nuts. So I'm just going to hand tighten the fork wrench. So it's at 100 foot pounds. So I'm just going to set it to the other direction. Alright, the tire change is almost done. I'm just going to rejack the car up. And then pull the jack stand out. Alright. Jack stands out and I'm gonna slowly lower the car. Good. Maybe not slowly. It had a little speed to that. Alright, now I'm gonna torque the bolts down. I got my torque wrench. These aren't even tight yet. I'm gonna tighten them up first. So I got this adapter that allows me to fit the lug nut key to my ratchet. So now I'm just gonna tighten these all down. Now I'm gonna take this off and put it on my torque wrench. Which you saw me set to 100 foot pounds. Torque. 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 All right. Now all that's left to do: slap on this T badge. And your tire is fixed. That's how you 
fix a flat with a plug. All right, so I got my little portable air compressor here that I bought at AutoZone. And we're gonna plug it in to the cigarette lighter on the Tesla. And then just turn on the compressor. And now it's pumping the tires. 